What was the first programming language you learned? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about a pretty interesting comment that I saw or a post I saw over at r slash Golang, which is the following. Is learning Go as a first programming language a mistake? The poster says, hello, sorry for my English. It's not my native language. I'm 14 years old and learning Go. Now I can write easy projects with Go like bots, CLI programs. Is it a mistake to learn Go as your first programming language? Should I learn some more low level programming like C or C++ or even assembly language? Now, this is a really cool and interesting post because a lot of people who may be newer to programming could be seeing different videos, mine included, and they may be asking themselves, well, huh, Go looks pretty cool. Go looks pretty interesting. Should Go be my first programming language? Make sure you click subscribe button. It does help the channel a lot. A lot of effort goes into these videos and it truly is the best way to support if you enjoy it. But let's get back to the video. There's a really cool comment here by console TVs. I think Go is among the top languages I would recommend. It will be easier if you learn Python or JavaScript as a beginner, but if you want to make a smaller extra effort, learning Go will make you a better programmer in the long run. Now, I don't necessarily agree with the fact that Go will make you a better programmer than starting out with Python or JavaScript, but I, I will say that Go does provide a level of introducing lower level concepts like pointers and enforcing type safety. And I made a list here of different programming languages, Python, JavaScript, and TypeScript. Uh, I'm pulling them as one, Go, Rust, C, C++, and Java. Now, I know there's a lot more programming languages out there, but I kind of want to group these into two separate categories of what I would consider as beginner friendly and non-beginner friendly. So in my opinion, the beginner friendlier languages would be Python, JavaScript, and Go. The non-beginner friendlier or less friendly languages would be something like Rust, C, and C++. And I have Java kind of in the middle. I think Java is mostly introduced in university and colleges. And it does have beginner friendly kind of introductions to programming, but it can become kind of ugly and less beginner friendly. And a lot of people may be dissuaded from that. Now, the reason why I have these here is because beginner friendly is just concepts that you can, you know, you don't have to have a background in computer science or even go to school for computer science to start kind of playing around and messing around with these programming languages. You can write a function in Python relatively easy. You can write a function in JavaScript relatively easy and then same thing with Go. Whereas with Rust, C and C++, there's a lot more things that you have to kind of be aware of like memory allocation, making sure that you are handling your program safely and adhering to a bunch more different lower level concepts. Now, I want to say that all because something is beginner friendly doesn't mean you should jump onto it. I do think if you are a beginner in programming and you have a lot of time available, like if you are a student and you are just starting your studies or whatever, maybe picking up one of these lower level languages like C can really teach you concepts that will make you appreciate Python, JavaScript, and Go, these higher level abstracted languages that do a lot of the things under the hood, like Go's garbage collector. You never really have to mess with it unless you're using the uh, memory package in Go 121, I think, or 122 that was introduced. But in something like Rust, you're always kind of handling different memory allocation in your program. However, if you are kind of looking for a career change and you want to pivot into your career, I think it's obvious to recommend Python, JavaScript, and Go. I think anyone could pick these up and kind of start, you know, start with them pretty easily. But if you're a complete beginner, I actually recommend to not follow any of these YouTube videos, mine included, because it really doesn't matter where your first programming language is. I think what's most important beyond the scope of what programming language should I choose or, you know, what framework should I choose is learn the basics of programming, right? And this does not matter what language you choose. If you are going to choose jobs, go ahead. If you're going to choose C, go ahead. But you need to learn the basics of for loops, you know, if statements, functions, standard libraries. Man, there's going to be so many like imports, variables, et cetera, et cetera. So as much as I do think asking a question, especially at 14 years old, you know, asking what program language you want to start with, don't worry about it. You're 14, you have your whole life ahead of you. I mean, you can be programming for 14 more years and uh, you won't even be 30. And uh, with that much experience, you will, will be a serious threat in the coding industry. But for everyone who may be watching, may be curious, maybe asking themselves, you know, did I learn the right programming language or did I start with the right one? Doesn't really matter. You know what? You really want to focus on holding down the basics of programming 
programming, how to write code, how to get stuff executed, how to make it rewarding for yourself to keep going. So the more you familiar you become with concepts, you start to realize like programming languages only start separating themselves when you need the right tool for the right job. And you start recognizing these patterns like Python is primarily used in machine learning and ETL jobs, whereas JavaScript is primarily and heavily used on the front end using coupled things with like React, Vue, and other front end frameworks. Go is used in back end services, but a lot of times using cloud infrastructure, microservices. Rust is used in lower level systems, uh, back end, same with C and C. They all have the kind of specifics that they are used for, but that doesn't mean you only have to use them in that circumstance. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you agree with what I have to say? Overall, I do think Go is a great first programming language to start with, but I think the conversation can kind of start a little bit higher. But if you want to see me go in detail about why I think Go can be a great first programming language for someone to start, let me know and I'll make a video about that. But until next time, peace.